Most people expect to press print and get a printed document with all the colours they wanted. Um, a lot of people aren't too bothered if the colours aren't exactly the same and maybe are different shades or tones. But to a significant amount of people, colour is very important. What if you're printing something with your brand on, your logo? You need to know that's going to be reproduced every time with exactly the same colour, not different shades of that colour or actually a different version of that colour. You need consistency. What if you've done a beautiful painting and you want to go reprint this? You want to know that all the colours are going to be exactly as they are in the original. These are just two out of loads and loads of examples where colour is extremely important. So why doesn't colour always print out as we expect? Let's start with why standard printers print in CMYK and not in RGB. RGB is the types of colours we see on screen, so on TVs, monitors, laptops, tablets. So this is usually the source of the document we're printing. But domestic printers don't print in RGB, they print in CMYK. CMYK is made up of cyan, magenta, yellow and black, which is called key, hence CMYK. RGB is red, green and blue. There are two fundamental reasons why we don't use RGB in printing. The first one is that most of our documents contain text and text is black, generally. To make black using RGB, you have to mix the red, the green and the blue together. So you're using three inks. In a CMYK, you're simply using one colour, the K, which is black. So it's costing you far less in inks. The colours in RGB are much thicker inks, the red, the green and the blues. So when they go on the paper, there's a lot more going on, which can make it very damp and very fragile. And let's face it, no one wants soggy, expensive prints. So what happens if your print document contains the colours white and gold? Can your domestic printer print these? Think about the documents you generally print and I bet in most cases they're on white paper. We're not alone, this is the case for most people, which means that the highest demand for printers is to print onto white paper. So therefore, there's a much lower demand for printing white ink. What's more, even though in, say, Microsoft Word, you can change images and text to white, the software simply won't print it. And the reason for this is that the cartridge does not contain the colour white. Remember, go back to CMYK, the print cartridges are made up of cyan, magenta, yellow and black. So there is no white, so you can't print what isn't there. There are actually a few white cartridges out on the market, believe it or not. Um, and there's also something called a gloss optimizer cartridge, which basically puts a shine or a gloss over the white paper to make it look like a white effect, to make it stand out. However, both of these are quite hard to come by and they're both very expensive. Now, what about gold? The quick answer is you can't print gold. There are no gold print cartridges. But with a little bit more effort, there is a method where you can put gold onto your document. If you have a laser printer, you can print out your gold design using the color black. You then place a gold foil transfer sheet over the top and pass it through a laminator or a foiling machine. And um, I have actually been told that you can also use an iron, but I've never tried this. Um, the heat transfers the gold foil onto the plastic element of the black ink. So you then peel off the transfer sheet, leaving a coating of gold over all the black areas. Again, I've never tried this and I'm sure there's a lot more to it and maybe you need to watch some more YouTube videos on how to do it. But do you know what? It sounds really good fun. And I have to say, I think I'm going to give it a go.